speaker. In my judgment, there is no higher legislative position in the gift of the American people. No man ever rises to this position by mere chance and accident. It is the result of long, hard, of the membership of the House, your colleagues on each side of the aisle. We wish you every success and happiness in the performance of the duties of your office. To the members of the House, I now have the honor of presenting your speaker, the Honorable William B. Bankhead, a representative from the state of Alabama. And members of the 75th Congress, I am, of course, very deeply and very profoundly grateful to my good and beloved friend, the distinguished gentleman from New York, the able minority leader of the last Congress and of this, for the very cordial and complimentary fashion in which he has presented me to you as the speaker of the 75th Congress to take the oath of office. And I request that the Dean of the House, the Honorable A.J. Sabbath of Illinois, administer the oath to the speaker. support and defend to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which you are about to enter, so help you God. In allegiance to the same, you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which you are about to enter, so help you God. Legislative establishment for the fiscal year 1937, John Andrews is hereby named as a minority employee as successor to Bert W. <laughs> 